whether you're in the blue corner of Tommy Langford, the red corner of Jason Wellborn, let's all agree that this has been a fantastic fight. Wellborn has Langford hurt. He has him badly hurt here. Straight away, like immediately, I was immediately after the fight, I was speaking about the rematch and saying what a great fight it would be. You know, the first fight was unreal, like everybody who was there, I mean, it was, it was on a small little show, so it wasn't seen by the masses, but it was a hell of a fight, you know. I got it severely wrong. You know, it's not just, it's not just good enough saying you got it wrong. You got to say like, why did you get it wrong? And there's a numerous things that happened and that I did and I was at fault for in, in the builder. The biggest thing probably is, um, you know, you got to have a real, hard look in the mirror and be completely honest with yourself and got to have people close to you who are going to be honest with you as well and tell the truth and the truth is I probably got a big too, bit too big for my boots and you know was overlooking Wildborn, overlooking probably the next one after him as well you know it was and you just can't do that in boxing and I should be long enough in the tooth and experienced enough that um, I don't do those things. Very difficult even if you tell yourself you're training hard, I always train hard, I'm not saying I didn't train, I trained hard but even if you're training hard, if once your mentality has gone down that route, it's very hard to pull it back and say, I'm still training hard, I'm still doing this, I'm still doing that. But the reality is you've looked past him and I looked past him and paid the price. But luckily, thankfully, we got the rematch straight away and I'm looking forward to putting the record straight and showing what I'm really about. Standing in the ring after the final bow, I thought I'd nicked it. You know, I thought I'd pulled it back and I'd, I'd, I'd done enough to win. But if you're saying you're nicking it, it's not good enough. Like I said, I thought, I thought I pinched it, but it's not good enough saying that. Um, and I didn't go out there to pinch it. I went out there to, you know, put a performance on, which I just didn't do. You know, I've got to give Wellborn his credit. He fought his right, the right fight for him. You know, yeah, it was a tear up, a full tear up for the 12 rounds. When you think you're going to do this, you think you're going to do that. And then you don't do those things and they don't happen for you in the fight then you start to revert back to what you know. I'm 100% I'm focused on winning the fight. Nothing past it, nothing, it doesn't matter how I win, I'm gonna win, and that's, that's that. That's what I didn't have last time. I was saying, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna land this shot, I'm gonna do this. And you, you're not focused enough on the, the real important factor of winning the fight and, and keeping your belt, and you know, so now I've got to get the belt back. I'm very, I'm very keen to get back in the ring and fight, and show everybody and, and prove to myself look you know I am I can do it I'm probably grateful of in a way of the loss if that I know it's not it's funny but my ego had run away of itself to be to be perfectly honest with you and had I got the result even if I'd nicked it and got the result you said ah oh, the performance wasn't there but I got over the line and you'd have forgotten all the problems and you've forgotten where you've gone wrong whereas this has forced me to have a good hard look and it's and it's forced me to listen to people around me. Out of my 22 fights, there's probably only four fights that I've actually been very happy with my performance. We've, I've given Jason a lot, the respect that is due, which I didn't give him last time. Um, so I've been working with people who are very similar to Jason, and obviously that's, that's better for me. Like last time around, we didn't really have that. It's a very, very big opportunity um, to get it right you know, and to, to really deliver on the, on, the, on the big occasion and have to deliver on that. But it's very exciting. I'm really happy to be fighting on Sky, massive platform. To be perfectly honest, there's no September 9th. It's all about September the 8th. They, I can't look anything past it, look at anything else. Nothing happens without the win on that day. And that is as, that is as cut and dry as it is, I've got to win. And that's that.